Okay, this is like the tenth time I've started this because someone keeps switching the camera off, do you? Yes, you do. This is Esme's six month vlog. Woohoo! Say hello. Oh, she's so heavy. Seriously, babies get very, very heavy. Um, yeah, so she's six months. So, six months of breastfeeding, six months she's been alive. Six months of everything. Yippee! For her birthday, we had a sponge cake. I had a sponge cake. She had booby milks. <laughs> um, we have been trying to wean her now, actually. Um, we've tried pretty much everything. She hates everything. Uh, we tried all the like um, organic purees, like hip organic, um, Ella's kitchen. No, that sort of thing. Um, I've ma made her some stuff, like she's had avocado, butternut squash, sweet potato, she spits it all out. <laughs> she, she just hates food, I think, at the moment, because it's a bit of a change from just milk. Um, but we'll keep trying, and um, one day, one day, you'll get the new. Um, at the moment, i got to wait today, she's £16.3 at the moment. Oh, what's that? What's that? Sixteen pounds three. <gasps> well, um, we went to baby group today. Um, now that my baby group's moved closer, it's easier to get to, so I just go there. Um, and Alex came with me today, which was nice. Your daddy came. She did. She did. Um, she's come up on so well this month. Uh, she she puts her arms up when she wants a hug. Although the only thing is she started screaming, we put her down and she goes, ah, 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 like ages. And so I can't put her down that much at the moment, but apparently that's just a, like a phase, so um, that's fine. Um, she's sleeping a bit better. Having said that, we are co-sleeping, so that's probably why. Um, what else? What else? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then last night I think she woke up three times for a feed and we slept until nine o'clock. You wouldn't have thought it by my eyes, but it's true. So much, um, she can get really restless, but I think she's teething now because she's like ignoring everything and that sort of stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, ignore everything, especially your fingers. Um, she's got sore little gums and it's quite sad. So. Oh yeah, it's so good. No. You riddles. Yeah, so she's getting absolutely massive. Um, she is in her big girl pram now because she could sit up really well by herself and such. So that's really good, isn't it? Big girls. Wee! Show everyone your bigness. Huge. Um, she laughs quite a lot. She laughs and she does get in, have little tantrums as well. Um, she can hold things um, and pinch like that. Pinch. She'll pinch you and pull your hair and beat you up pretty much. You beat mummy up. And she likes holding things and going like this for ages. Shaking it and putting things in her mouth and she she throws herself across the room. When I, when I put it down, I put it down with um, pillows around her. Um, just in case because she sometimes still falls down and she also launches herself across the room to grab things so catches her fall which is good she just she just really wants to run away she wants to move and she wants to run do stuff and look at things so she's really really interested in everything so there's not wrong with her she's good she's good Look at you. Um. So yeah, she's been quite, good. quite good, I guess. Quite good. Yeah. Uh, what else are we doing? We've been going to toddler group as well. Um, there's a toddler group, uh, church nearby us. So we start going to that. Yes, we have. And we met lots of babies. She she loves meeting over the bit other babies and she loves going out so that's really good for her um, we're getting quite excited for Halloween at the moment I bought her a little pumpkin dress which I can't actually find 
I put it somewhere. But it's like not a pumpkin, but it's like an orange sort of chiffony dress thing with a picture of a pumpkin on. She's got like a little stalk thing on the forehead. It's really cute. Um, so I got that from eBay for like a fiver bargain. So we're gonna get lots of sweets and put the sweets in a little pumpkin thing and give them up to kids. Uh, I did think about going trick or treating, but I think that'll be taking the make a little bit. <laughs> Go for some sweets, so we're gonna eat them. It could work, but um, I don't. I don't eat a whole lot of sweets, to be honest. So I think it'd be a bit pointless. I'd just be like throwing them away giving them to people. But definitely next year, I think. Not that I'm going to give them any sugar next year. No, I'm not. I'm going to have a go at making some sugar-free cakes soon because um, the place where I'm on my tennis leave from has things like coconut sugar and I gave syrup and um, xylitol and all that sort of stuff. So I can actually go there on oh, like dates and things. So I think easily go and get some stuff, make a healthy cake and stuff, which is what I want to do for her birthday. I'm going to make a sugar-free cake. Yes we are! Sugar-free mushy cake with all your favourite things! Like booby milk! <laughs> Just make it in the shape of a boob. You'll like that, won't you? Yes you will! Like dinner! Dinner, dinner, dinner! Yum, 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 yum! Yeah! Um, she's very good poking the tongue out. Mm. It's just like all day like mm, my tooth mm, sort of thing. Yes you're so clever. Yes you are. And um, she's good at grabbing things. Oh she was before but more good at grabbing things. More a good good so that's not bad grammar I know but more good. Better. Better at grabbing things. Yes you are uh, she likes she still likes um, going to singing groups and stuff. Um, we went to a show the other day, um, a baby show. We were in town. We weren't even going to be in town. All right. We weren't even going to be in town that weekend, but we thought we'd go for a little walk into town. And there was this baby show on. So we're like, oh my god, I have to get a baby show. Um, it was really, really good actually. We had a good time. Um, I bought a sling, which is back there, I'll get it in a bit when the other ones calm down a bit. Um, it's, it's a Maytai sling, we got it from a place called Serenity Supplies in Cheltenham. Which is, they were dead good, they were like, really good with them, um, fitting you out and that sort of thing. Um, we had our photo taken for this photography place. Um, competitions and that sort of thing. We signed up to pretty much everything, um, like aloe vera stuff. We we've had um since oh you're getting tired. We've had a little aloe, a little a little aloe, uh, um that forever living sort of stuff. We've had um over to try. I'm actually allergic to quite a bit of their stuff, so I don't know why, but uh, they've been around for quite a while. I remember my parents using them when we were younger. Um, what else has happened? Mm. Yeah, I'm just sort of ad living all this because I just have not had time to, to, to write anything down. Whee! What else we're doing? Uh, we've been watching Malcolm in the Middle quite a lot. We've been having a Malcolm in the Middle marathon, which has been fun. Check it out. Um, we've been watching Sea Babies. Um, Esme likes Alpha Locks at the moment. But yeah, there's some quite good stuff on CBBS nowadays, like encouraging kids to be healthy and stuff. It's really good. Well, I guess it's all very well watching programs that are encouraging you to go out and do stuff. But you have to actually go out and do stuff. Oh. Um, we've been looking for Christmas presents as well. Oh, you're getting tired. Um, yeah, it's almost ten. Oh, yeah, ten past three. Almost at that time. Um, yeah, I've been, I've been looking for Christmas presents for our first Christmas. I can't wait to dress her up in like little Santa outfits and um, that sort of thing. You're so cute! My first Christmas, and I'll get a little, um, 
of stocking and lots of presents with all the money I don't have. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, was oh yeah, we had this terrible time with this photography company. Um, I think they're like some kind of franchise or something. And uh, uh, we think we bought a £15 voucher to go and have some, you know, go and have some photography, photography. See, I just don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> a photo shoot um, with them. And we went, and the photo shoot was very good. And then we thought, oh, well, we could maybe buy some prints or something. Yes, we'll buy some prints. And then we went to see a viewing, and they were like, one small photo is £200, didn't they? One small photo is £200. And we're like, what? And, you know, and then it sort of went up from there. And to get a decent sized portrait would be like £1,000 or something ridiculous. Like you could finance it. And like, yeah, no, no. Mummy has to pay for a credit card first. No, she does. Um, hello. What's that? Um, you holding my chin? Is it gonna fall off? It might fall off. Yes, it might. Yes, it might. Yay! Boop. What was I saying? <laughs> I have no idea. Got amnesia, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, that was absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. They were really pushy <laughs> and they were guilty. Like, you must have this portrait. But I really think um, their sort of company should not be around nowadays. I mean, fair enough if it was, if it was independent and stuff. And I don't think independent people would charge that much, to be honest. But um, that kind of company, you know, charging a thousand pounds for a picture in this day and age is really ridiculous. Unless it was like a famous artist or something, we'd be like, oh yeah, famous artist. <laughs> and um, I really doubt the photographer actually gets paid very much for it anyway. So where is it all going? You know, it's just going to people at the top and that's really harsh. Um, so I'd rather go to an independent photographer and have a photo taken, to be quite honest, and give them the money. I'm not going to pay a thousand pounds for a picture. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. But anyway, we were, we're still in a competition for it, uh, I think, as far as I... Ow! As far as I know. Um, so, yeah, I think I did get everyone to um, vote on it, so... Um, we still, you know, the small chats are winning still, but I don't know whether they'll think, oh, they haven't bought any pictures, let's not pick them or sort of thing. And there's no way we're going to buy a picture. So, eat my shoes, for much. Um, but I did email, at, um, I think it was Pixie Photo, not long ago, because we, we had a photo shoot with them a while ago and I forgot to go and pick up the pictures. Um, and I think they were a bit cheaper, so... Um, and they've, they've still got our photos, so I could, in theory, just get them. That'd be fine. Because I still got a free one with them, and I can have a look at the other photos. And there'll be one Ellie was there, you do! You are very little! Yes, you are! Yes. Mm. So, yeah, anyway, um, that little what's to show was very, very good. Very, very good. They had a, like a breastfeeding lounge and stuff, and seats, and they gave me water, and it was dead nice, like that sort of thing. And I think we we decided we're gonna purchase um, some, I think it's top box, uh, dis uh, not disposable, reusable nappies. Because um, you can get, with our council, you can, there's like a scheme sort of thing, and you can get them for like, £20 or something, like a trial pack, you get like a voucher and send it off to top box and then, yes, <laughs> you're crazy, you're crazy, um, there's, yeah, they'll send us some reusable nappies, which would be a lot cheaper, I feel really bad, like, we, I think we threw out a bin bag full of disposable nappies every few days, it's really awful. 
Um, so yeah, that's, that's bad, but um, I might sort of transition, like, first I'll have like a few and just try them out and stuff, see if, see if I can, you know, stomach washing them, I'm sure it'll be fine because I don't mind, I don't mind changing nappies anyway as it is. High five! High five! Um, no, no. It's another thing she's been doing is um, we've been like, say daddy, and she's like, say daddy. Can you say daddy? Can you say daddy? Can you say daddy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Can you say mummy? Can you say mummy? Mum, 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 mum. No. <laughs> she. Oh. She, but she can actually say mum now. She can say mum, 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 mum. That's probably the most exciting thing that's happened to him. We're so pleased with you. Yes, we are. No, no, we're not pleased. No. Um, that's so exciting. Woohoo. Okay, say hello to everyone. Say hello, Grandma and Granddad, on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello! What's going on up there? I'm gonna pull mommy's hair. But yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, so it, it, I think it's all been going quite well. Uh, as far as I'm aware. Nothing, nothing bad happened or anything to Ez or we're not having any problems with her really, apart from not sleeping. She's a bit clingy, but that's babies for you. That's all right, isn't it? We have great fun. We have great fun. Woo! <laughs> um, yeah, I, I do find myself constantly singing all the time. That's the only thing. Um, and also, obviously, because I'm a parent, uh, I need a haircut and a hair dye and everything really. I'm just come down now. Ooh. Hi. Um I need some new clothes and ugh oh, everything nothing fits. So I'm a bit like oh, oh. moan 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 something. Moan 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 Just don't know what to do with myself sometimes. Ugh don't have time to do anything, do we? Do we? No we don't. So yeah um, not much else has happened, we're just looking forward to Halloween and Christmas now. Um, we got a few things lined up. I've signed up for this, and it's a new baby sort of workshop sort of thing. Um, which I don't know why I signed up. I think it I was at the Little Monster Show now. But it looks really good. Um, I don't know whether Ez is too big for it really. Um, but but it has like baby massage which I've always wanted to learn but I think she's a bit big but um, it has baby first aid and um, what does it do? just everything really, a bit of everything we get to meet my mums I might email them and see, make sure it's alright um, she's getting getting all about bed you yes she was we're so excited Ooh. Christmas, um, we're going to a holiday cottage with great grandparents, grandparents, everyone, really, aren't we? And we're going to see everyone. It's going to be nice. Uh, it's only about half an hour away from here, so it won't really be a problem. Um, I just can't wait to wrap up presents and put them in the list. Okay, that bit's so cute. And um, yeah. Oh, lovely. Lovely, jubbly. Another thing that I bought, which was dead good, um, was Neil Yard baby bath and shampoo. This is awesome. It's it's so gentle and it cleans really well. Like um, you just need a little bit. But it's obviously a steeper price, steeper end price, and yeah, <laughs> steeper end of price. But um, it's did good. Uh, it cleans really well, and even I can use it. And I'm allergic to absolutely everything at the moment. Like 
every single soap I use I'm allergic to. Um, um, obviously, like with it makes bubbles, so I can have a bubble bath, and Esme can have a bubble bath. Let's just tell you what it's got in it. It's got water, glycerin, laurel, laurel glucid, some lemon. Yeah, I don't know. It's got propolis though, and lavender, chamomile, more lavender, and then just normal stuff, other stuff really. I haven't got like parabens or silicones or fragrances, minerals. Apparently, it's got no tea. <gasps> we like tea. We want to bathe in tea, don't we? We want to bathe in tea. Um, so yeah, that's really good. I really recommend it. Um, I think it's like eight pounds or something for two hundred ml. Um, but you can get a massive bottle for about twenty something quid. It's about that big or something. But a really huge bottle. You can use it for everything. So I think I might go back to Neil Jean and look at the other stuff. We have um, some baby powder from Neil Jean, which is pretty good. But it's just sort of better than talc and stuff because talc's not technically very good for your baby, so, um, so yeah, we're, we've been really impressed with that, haven't we? So yeah, I think that's enough with me babbling on, um, I think I'll probably go for a nap, it's sick, um, she, she's been so good lately having naps in the afternoon, usually about two or three o'clock for two hours, so I'm like, hmm, and it seems like now that she's napping, she's actually sleeping better at night, so, that is awesome. Just awesome. she also naps about eleven o'clock in the morning, just for about twenty minutes. Usually after I take her out for a morning walk, so she's been doing really well. Really impressed. Anywho, um, have fun. Bye bye. Say bye bye, Eddie. Bye bye. Bye bye.